Oh, let's go, Cosmic versus Toriko. Let's go, Toriko. Uh, I actually don't know why I said that. I don't like this one. I, I'm, I'm joking. Mostly. Back air, back air, back air. Down air, down air. Down air. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be really interesting to just like go to a different region for Smash and just like, you know, hang out there. I guess. Of course. But if you're an esport player, you, you have the money to travel, so why not? Yeah. Why, why yeah. Like, it's cool if you go to all the majors and stuff, but just like, I think it might be more worth your while to stay in like an area that's like pretty heavily populated with like some like players of like PR and just like go to all their tournaments for like a bit and it's like you know if you just go to like if you just go to like Terra or something that like Pluto's at and you don't fight Gluto then like you know just go to more French regions I don't know, it makes sense to me. Or I guess maybe I just want to go to a bunch of countries play Smash. I mean, the, yeah, that's the Japan trips a lot of players take. Yeah, for like a couple months. Yeah. I mean, Japan is number one, so you gotta learn from them. Yeah. I am glad that Japanese Smashes are getting to go overseas a lot more. Yeah, if they're just that's at good. all their Japanese tournaments, then I have no idea what's going on. I do like foreign commentary, though. Yeah. I think that's right. I, I feel like it would be cool if we got, like... You know, Benito Harbor was, like, commentated entirely in Spanish, right? Or like yeah. wrestling Spanish, but like, I like that. Like, it was still a good tournament, even if like I couldn't understand most of what was being said in console. I think we did. Like, I think we only watched Spargo and MK Leo, but the commentary was really good. I, yeah. I didn't understand most of it, but it was a good commentary. It was good commentary. Yeah, they, like they just have like, I don't know. I, like English commentary is good and all, but like you know, like there's something about other regions, especially if like it's their tournament and like they they like sound really proud of it in commentary. Not that like I can tell, but like you know sounding a lot like a subtitle purist right now. You're making a similar argument. No, I'm just i I'm I'm saying like I will watch like tournaments in English most of the time. Because most tournaments are in English, but like I think it would be cool if we had some like foreign language like, commentators too. I just think it would be cool. not against English commentary. I just think it would be cool if we also got other things. Because you know, Smash is supposed to be like a worldwide game. Yes, I mean some tournaments, depending on bigger, are, they have multiple streams. Yeah. And usually Japan, Japanese tournaments have English streams too. Yeah. So it goes both ways. French tournaments. Yeah. I think those usually have French commentary. And I think that's cool. I would hope so. It's a French tournament. Yeah. But I mean, like, there are tournaments hosted in France that are, like, French tournaments, but they don't have French commentary. And, like, maybe the commentators are French, but they're not speaking French. Hmm. Yeah. I think that's mostly because... France and in EU as a region, they most of them speak, speak English. English. That's true. That's the language that unites them. So whether you're from Germany, Spain, France, or UK, English, most people know English. I guess, yeah. Yo, where's my where's my Scottish commentary? That definitely exists. 
Not like the accents, either. Like, just the sort of language. Oh. I'm 100% there's probably a Welsh local with Welsh commentary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like some, like... I actually don't know anything about Wales, so I don't know. Salmon. Oh, there's a bone. Oh yeah, there's also this crab cake here. I haven't had any of that. Told you my dislike for crabby before. Have you? Yeah. I don't remember. Too sweet. The, the, the texture's awful too. Why, why would you eat crab? For crab or just crab cakes? Crab in general. I see. Yeah, I'm not a big like um, crawl. Or what, what do you consider? What do you, what do you consider crabs, and lobster, and all that? I think they're called crustaceans. Yeah, I think. Crustaceans. I'm not, okay. I'm not the biggest fan of crustaceans. If I'm, yeah, me neither. Am I, if I'm gonna eat any sort of seafood, I prefer not to have shellfish or crustaceans. Just like regular. Food. Okay, but shells are good, like a good mussel and oyster. Yeah, that's good ice. I don't know, not my thing. Octopus is really good. That's just like chewy meat. You ever had gator nuggets before? Oh yeah, I had gator. Tastes like chicken. Oh yeah, I also had that exotic beef jerky that I got. <laughs> yeah, let's go exotic beef jerky. And like kangaroo meat is really good, like really good. Like it's the best meat. Yeah. And it sucks because when am I ever gonna have kangaroo meat? Well I know that it's good. Go to Australia, no. I guess. <laughs> You will become PR in SSF2 within one week. I don't doubt it. No, like, I can already think of, like... At your level, playing Marth, I think you could be maybe, like, the... 6th or 7th best in Australia. Okay, that's just one plane ride and a laptop away. That's yeah. feasible. Hey, you're looking for somewhere to use that, that, that vacation money, man. <laughs> yeah. Australia PR. <laughs> That's... Yeah. And with that, an American, or someone from the Americas will be PR in every single uh, Super Smash Bros. 2 relevant region. You know what, if I have to make the sacrifice, I'll do it. Um... I, I say it's a sacrifice, like uh, going to Australia is uh, like... <laughs> A bad thing. <laughs> to any of my Australian viewers that might exist, um, we hate your country. <laughs> yeah. Australia is very chill, though. Yeah. I mean, oh, what, the Maccas. I need to try the Maccas. Oh, of course. Yeah. The, the Jamaican KFC of Australia. Yeah. Or the Canadian Arby's. I heard, apparently Canadian Arby's is really good. Huh. Either yeah. That, or it's just maybe like Quebec Arby's in particular. I don't know. But yeah, it's like those are the three cornerstones of American fast food that is much better overseas. Um, Jamaican KFC, Australian McDonald's, and Quebec Arby's, apparently. <laughs> I think I can't really eat a lot of, like, European food, because it seems too fancy. Like, I'm way too simple. It's like, I couldn't... Even is European food. I mean, I know, I'm good with Italian food, because it's... Italian Yeah, food. of course. Yeah. Well, uh, you know what I haven't had in a while? Lasagna. True, I, yeah. I haven't had a good lasagna in a while. I mean... I've had lasagna, but not good lasagna. It's usually a Stouffer's or a frozen one. Oh, yeah, I want like a frozen lasagna. Yeah, I want like a real good lasagna. You well, know. In that case, I just haven't had good lasagna ever. But like, I haven't had lasagna period in, in a while. 
I... It's been a minute. I want a good chicken parmesan. Uh, as the... It's my favorite. Have you ever had chicken Kiev? What is Kiev? Chicken um, Kiev. So, it's basically... I don't know how to describe it. Um, basically, it's like chicken, which is like hollow inside, and then you put breading around it, and like, I think it's got like some sauce on it or something, or like at, at the bottom, or... I think you fill the inside of a chicken, not like an actual chicken, but like you fill like chicken inside with like some sauce, and then you put breading around it, and you cook it for like 40 minutes, and then when you like... Um, when you put your, like, fork and knife into it, when you, like, puncture it, it, like, all the, all the, like, the sauce and juices and stuff, like, spill out, and you're meant to... You can eat it however you want, but, like, a good way to do it is, like, just, um... You, like, kind of cover the Kiev, like, the outside, like, the breaded and the chicken in, like, sauce. I don't exactly know what it's like. We have stuffed chicken, like chicken Gordon Bleu, wherever that's pronounced. Like, I'm sure chicken Kiev is different than the specifics. The chicken fried steak, really good. Definitely go for some. Anyway, that's the game from Cosmic. Alright, and moving on to game four. Where's that your food goes? Uh. Poor people make really good food, it's just they don't always have food. That's the issue. Eastern Europe. Yeah! They really only have, like, the, the two ingredients in Eastern European food, or three I guess, is like... Um, it's like potatoes, meat, and spices. And you just arrange To be fair, them. that is solid if you can get it all is, that yeah, together. It is, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Yeah, of course. Like, it can be really, really good. But it is, like, basically just, like, two, like, levels on the food, like, pyramid or whatever that is. You, you remember, like, the, the food thing? The food yeah, the food, food pyramid. Thing. Way too many carbs in the food pyramid. Why would your nurse be telling you to eat bread all the time? That's not good for you. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, cut down on bread, for sure. Like, don't cut it out, but like, cut it down on bread, for sure. Yeah, I mean, reduce your bread. That shouldn't be the main part of your diet. Yeah. Is what I'm saying. I used to have sandwiches like all the time. Sandwiches are good because you know, at least there's like vegetables and meat in there. Yeah, but well, I, when I say sandwiches, I mean I put cheese between two slices of bread. Okay, not even grilled, just well, cheese. Some mo sometimes I well I didn't grill it, but I like put in the like toaster oven sometimes. Okay, well yeah, heat it up, melt the cheese. That's not bad. Sure. Yeah. Whoa, Bowser Tech. Didn't wasn't necessary, but cool that you did that. Every Bowser loves to do that, and it's super unnecessary because you can you're literally like so on it's really only good for like recovering sometimes or if you really need to get off stage. And it's like a really a good trade. situation where it's good. Cool. Oh yeah, I, I love it when the school nurses gave you bags of ice for no reason. I think I only ever went to the nurse like once. I, I would remember. throw up a lot as a kid, like, throwing up a glass. It was my thing. <laughs> Were you ranked? <laughs> <laughs> I did it in France a few times, I don't know if I'm ranked there. Uh, <laughs> Pluto! Yay! <laughs> Let's go, Wario. 
But yeah, I would always, they would always give me a bag of ice, even if that had nothing to do with anything. Just a bag of ice that you had to take with you and wait till it melted. I mean, if you're feeling cooler, usually, then like that helps with a bunch of stuff, I guess. I'm sure I should have appreciated more at the time. Yeah. I just, I, I'm a little kid, I don't know what to do with this bag of ice. I really didn't. Uh, I think, like, something that I started doing after. that I really should have started doing sooner was putting ice in my. in my, uh. in, like, my water when I had, like, a reusable cup. Like, I didn't start doing that until, like, sometime last year, probably. Like, I would just fill a cup with water and then when. I, yeah, like, ice just keeps it cooler, and, like, cool water is way better. By a long shot. There's nothing wrong with like some crisp room temperature water. I... I there is such a thing as too cold. I think ice water can easily be too cold. Like a good water that's just below room temperature. That is good. Yeah. I mean, if you leave like a reusable like cup of water, not cup of water. Reasonable bottle of water. So, in like a car for 15 minutes, then it will become room temperature. Warm water isn't isn't good. Warm water. Sucks. Unless it's hot. Like no one is wants to drink anything warm. It's either hot or hot or room, like temperature room temperature or below. below. Yeah. yeah. Bowser, like, never dies. Bowser is pretty heavy. Yeah. I feel like heavy is always an archetype of character where if they're good, then the game's bad. Oh yeah, 100. I feel you. There should never be... A broken heavyweight. Or like a good one, I guess. Never be a good heavyweight. Like, as soon as everyone knows about the game, heavyweights should fall out. Heavyweights should only win at the lowest level of play. He yeah, where they dominate. only win for like the first six months of the game's release. And then they discover the anti-tech. Ike! Ike. Dude, Ike is never, like, a good character. Leo was a good character. That's true. Leo was a yeah. good character to play in early Ultimate. Can you believe that Leo plays so much Fire Emblem, like, uh, characters? But I don't think he's played Fates, has he? Or knows about Leo. I feel like he wouldn't know who Leo is. Oh, that, that is true. Wow. I'm sure he's... he's dabbled in it. He's probably seen Leo, but he probably hasn't played, like, for... Like, known that his name is Leo. That's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah. Especially around Smash 4. Fates was real popular. Yeah. At the time. Corrin. Corrin. He didn't play Corrin at the time, though. He just played Martin. I feel like now, if considering he has played Corrin, maybe? I mean, like, playing Ike, Lucina, Violet, Corrin, will do that to you. Mutase is the most real Fire Emblem fan we have. In Mutase is an actual Fire Emblem fan, yeah. Just sucks like, for real, for real. It sucks that he's like an actual, actual Fire Emblem fan. Like, Likes heroes. Fine. Yeah, it's pretty deep in there. Yeah. So like, there should be like a normal Fire Emblem fan, where like they don't play heroes and they don't engage in constant online discourse about the games, or about how they will guard something or other. Three years of three houses discourse again for no reason.
I am contempt. All right, I am not battling the front lines You're anymore. Contempt? Yeah. It's content, not contempt. I'm content. <laughs> contempt is. <laughs> You are the entire, like, adjective, the entire feeling of contempt. Uh... Or contemptiveness. That's crazy. A cosmic might make this reverse 3 happen. No, I've looked in the No! <laughs> no, okay. You just had to say it, didn't you? Yeah.